Hello and welcome to Big Boar Knife and Gear. Today we are going to talk about the Benchmade Bug Out. I know I'm a little late to the game, but uh, you know, there's always a first time for everything. Uh, this is the first time I've actually handled and used the Bug Out, uh, thanks to my good buddy Rusty. So, let's flop this sucker open and get down to it. I'm going to start with a little bit of specs. Uh, the stock weight on this bad boy was 1.85 ounces. The overall length is 7.46 inches. It's got a blade cutting length of 3.25 inches. It's got a cutting edge of 3 inches, and the 3.25 inches was overall blade length. It's got a blade thickness of 0 0.09 inches. The blade steel on this bad boy is S30V. Drop point style blade with a beautifully done flat grind on there. The behind the edge thickness on this one is 0 0.023 inches. This is a tip up carry only. Good for left or right side carry. And it also came with the mini deep carry clip. Handle material on this is Grivery or FRN, whatever you want to call it. And the model number of this particular bug out is the 535BK-1902, which is the Blade HQ exclusive blacked out version. So, I get what all the hype has been about. This knife is fantastic. It weighs next to nothing. It disappears in your pocket. It's super slicey. The ergonomics on this, even in my big hand, is actually pretty fantastic. Felt good. No hot spots. I did cut uh, some cardboard, some boxes, some paper with it without issue. It is still razor sharp. Fantastic design. Thumbs to deployment with the axis lock mechanism. Just a sweet overall design. Does have the hole for your, your lanyard guys. One thing you might notice on here is uh, this did come to me with just the standard back barrel spacers in there. I did end up installing this rock scale designs geared back spacer in titanium. It really, really did two things. One, it totally improved the look of the knife, in my opinion. And two, I'm sure you guys have seen all the videos where people were squeezing the scales together. With this backspacer installed, it totally stiffened up these scales, so no more issues. No more issues with that. Just a fantastic knife. Deploys super easy and smooth. Closes super easy and smooth. Just a great, great overall everyday carry knife. When this thing's in your pocket, it takes up almost no room. We're talking about a total width of just barely over an inch. And it is so light, it slips in and out of the pocket so easy. Uh, few times I actually uh, had to double check my pocket because I didn't know if it was actually in there or if it had fallen out. Obviously it hadn't fallen out. The retention on the clip is fantastic, but the weight on this thing is so incredible that it just pretty much disappears. I didn't even realize it was in my pocket. I don't normally do this because I don't care personally how much a knife really weighs, but I am curious to see We'll zero this out. I am curious to see what the weight difference is with that aftermarket backspacer in there. So stock weight on this was 1.85 ounces. By putting in the aftermarket uh, titanium backspacer, we are now sitting at <laughs> ooh 1.95 ounces. So a tenth of an ounce change in weight. If you guys have 
owned, handled, used one of these bug outs, leave me a comment and tell me what you think. Again, in my big old hands, whether I'm holding the knife in normal position, which by the way, does have some jimping on the little tiny liners that are in here, which actually work pretty decent. Not super aggressive, but they do give you some traction. So as you can see, fit really good, or even though there's no finger choil, you can still choke way up on that blade and really get some fine, fine cutting work done. The scales on this aren't overly uh, aggressive, but they are textured. I didn't have any issues with slippage in my hand. And again, super comfortable, super ergonomic, no hot spots whatsoever. Just can't say enough good things about this knife. I think I'm going to have to probably break down and get one. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. This typically is a little small for what I normally carry. But I gotta tell you, <laughs> what a fantastic design. Now Rusty also did loan me the bailout. Uh, I'll be doing a video on that shortly. Uh, so stay tuned for that because, uh, I do have one serious issue with that knife and I'm, and I'm gonna let it fly. <laughs> I'm gonna let that fly on this next video. Anyhow, that's all I got for you today. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment because I love the feedback. And until next time, take care.